Hey guys, welcome back to another part of The Sims 3 Big Sister Challenge. In today's part, we're gonna be focusing on Joyce for a little bit. So yes, Dylan is currently at his mother's house and Ava doesn't know about it. He's actually supposed to be in school right now, but Joyce has been having contact with Dylan and convinced him to come over so she can explain her side of the story as to why she left. There's no story to Joyce. She knew exactly what she was doing when she left her children. She's also gonna be revealing some pretty big news to Dylan. And finally, we're gonna be celebrating Ava Ava's birthday, she will be entering adulthood. So let's just get right into the gameplay. Right now, Joyce and Dylan are having a conversation. The big news that she just announced to Dylan is that she's pregnant. She just found out recently and now I bet y'all are wondering, well, who's the father? It most likely has to be the mystery guy and I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to show up once the baby arrives. Surprisingly, Dylan is very happy for his mother and he forgave her for everything. Dylan is such a good person, it just makes sense as to why he forgave her so fast. So yeah, they're on good terms. Their relationship right now is good friends. They're about to be best friends if they keep on going well. All I know is that Ava is going to be mad when she finds out about this because he's being sneaky right now and she's not in a good mood. She's having a mood swing, so she's ready to fight today if she finds out. He needs to get his tail to school now that he knows everything. Uh, what's all this? Oh my gosh, what are they talking about? Oh, he really enjoys being her friend. Oh, they're just on wonderful terms. Oh my God, his grades is going down. We need to go to school. We missed like the half of the day, but it's okay. We're going to have you work hard. Your first day of high school, get your education. What did she say? Playing pretend is so much fun, right? Oh, girl, you go ahead with your little pregnancy. Let me hurry on to Ava, see how she's doing. Yeah, she is not in the best of mood today. <laughs> she wants to insult somebody. Oh, girl. Okay, let me get this baby. She's gonna be hungry and she needs her diaper changed pretty soon, so stop painting and come get your Oh, Oh, Rosie. She's just running all around the house. You could take that outside. She needs another bath. I'm going to have her take a little nap real quick, and then I'll bathe her later. Got to take care of Milani first. I got to teach this little one how. I think I taught her how to use the potty last time. Let me make sure. All she needs to learn how to do is um, learn how to talk. Okay. I think she knows how to use the potty, and she already knows how to walk. So let me feed her on the floor real quick. Hopefully we can get this. Oh, shoot. Yeah, uh, he's about to get out of school and he's doing pretty bad, but it's all right. We'll get him back up there. He's a good kid. All right. So when she's done eating, she can use the potty. And so Ava has to work today. I believe she. Yep. She has to go to work in three hours. Research. Sure. You need to bring your grade up. <laughs> that ain't the look right there. Ava, use the bathroom. Clean the toilet. You need to eat something before you head off to work in an hour. Oh my goodness, what we have left? We got some apple pancakes. We can eat that for lunch. Oh, that toilet is atrocious. Yeah, clean it on up. Dylan should be on his way home. I think he's bringing over a friend. I think Jake is coming over if he's not on the bus already. I don't know. Should I have him do this thing today? When is it? So it's due Thursday at 6 p.m. and it's a Monday. He has all the time in the world. So let me take care of, oh, she's, oh, she wants to beat up somebody. Oh, goodness. Okay, you need to hurry on. I'm gonna drag up your energy just a little bit so you can have a good day at work. And I will take care of your plea. Milani's doing well, the babysitter. Oh, she's in the toilet, girl, come on. Come out here, call babysitter. Well, it's kind of unnecessary because he's on his way home. Oh, you went over his house. Okay. So since you're here or never mind, why are you leaving? Yeah, this is a little weird. That's cool. Just do your homework when you get home. Who the heck are you, honey? If you ain't a teen, then you should not be hitting on me. And I just like how he's just out here in the rain doing his homework. And it's cold outside. This is... This boy is just strange. That's that's what it is. Are you at least in front of the house? Okay, he's in front of the house. I mean, <laughs> there you go. And then when you're done, just go to the science facility and do the opposite. He wants to throw a slumber party. Yo, that'd be pretty interesting if I have him throw a slumber party. Well, he doesn't have a lot of friends yet. He only He's only friends with Jake. 
Jake needs a makeover. He looks a hot mess. So I have an idea. I'm gonna have Dylan hang out with Joyce again once he completes his homework. And then when Ava comes home, she's gonna wonder where Dylan is because she knows that he's supposed to be home after school to help watch Milani while she's working. So he might get caught hanging out with his mother today. And oh, this is gonna be some tea. We're gonna forget about the opportunity. We'll do it another day. We have all the time in the world and this boy is still outside and it's raining and he's soaking wet, but he's almost done with his homework. So let's hurry up before Joyce runs away or gets busy in life. Uh, let me drag up his energy because we don't got time for that. Okay, that, he's done. Where could I have them do today? Well, first, let's just go to her house and like form a group. Or I could have just, uh, I'm being extra. I could have just invited her out. But they'd be difficult sometimes talking about something. No, I don't feel like hanging out. You're going to hang out with me regardless. Okay. So I guess we're back again. Ill, get out that outfit. That is not your outerwear that I gave you. Oh, look, he wants to improve his fishing skill. Honestly, I think instead of giving him a part-time job, I think I might have him start doing fishing as like a job slash hobby because some fishes can be worth a lot. How much is this worth? 78 simoleons? Well, 11, but hold on. I'm going to think about it. Where's her clothes? Ah, uh, honey. Girl, you got pregnant and now your body doesn't even know how to act. All right, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's form a group and let me get you out of this crazy behind outfit. Um, I think it's because she's pregnant. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, every day. There we go. All right, come on. Oh, she just got off of work too. Oh, it's about to get crazy. And it's getting late too, so he's definitely gonna get like in trouble by the police or something. All right, the group is formed. He wants to go bowling. I don't even think there's like a bowling place in Hidden Springs. Um, they're hungry, so I'm gonna have them go out to eat somewhere. We can come on now. Ain't nobody click that. We can come over here, eat here with group, and then they can like have some fun. Go to the karaoke bar or something. Yeah, it closes at 3 a.m. So I'll definitely have them do that instead of bowling he is still happy i think he really likes being around his mother and his mother keeps changing it into this invisible outfit and it's scary oh she got money oh oh she's about to leave god darn it see this is the stuff i'm talking about all right so ava's home she wants to get a promotion um sure she's in his room and all wondering where he at <laughs> Okay, um, should we feed his thing? I don't think he fed it today, so let me feed that. And let me check on Milani. She needs a bottle and I'm gonna have her use this potty again. And then we can feed her. Rosie? Oh, honey, you need to wake up. And you need to come out here, use the bathroom. Pee here, eat a little bit, and then you can go back to sleep. Girl, move. Oh, she's using the potty so you can't like really mess with her right now. Okay, 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 that's fine. And we need to dump that. Mmm. Y'all still out? Have have picture taken. We ain't no pop. What? We are not famous. Well, not yet. <laughs> All right, is she still here? It says, okay, she's good. They're still here. All right, now let's go to this Oh, no, go together, go together. Alrighty, they finally arrived at the karaoke bar, and Dylan still hasn't been caught by the police yet. He might not even get caught, but I'm low-key hoping that he does so we can stir up some mess, you know? So he has one hour, and if he's passed, he may get caught. So it's almost 12 o'clock in the morning. They're singing. He's trying to go home. Oh, you want to be a vocal legend? We'll leave if she leaves, but looks like they're having a good time. Here, let's talk. Let's ask about her day and applaud her hard work. And then I almost ask about her degree. I don't think he knows too much about her. In the game, it says he does, but he really doesn't. Oh, she's thinking about her baby. I wonder what she's having. And she better not have no multiples. Let's listen to her tummy and let's feel her tummy. I think he's pretty excited about having another sibling too. Ooh, he's becoming a jock. Ooh. Okay, she has a major in fine arts. Yo, what's up with them having weird majors and doing weird jobs? She's a whole doctor, I believe. 
Oh, she really enjoys being his friend. Well, honey, that's your son. Oh, this is too cute. All right, what else can you do? Oh, you're BFFs now? Respond. Okay, Um. yes. Now they're going to be best friends. Yep. This is actually so cute. So I'm going to have him hug her goodbye, and then I'm going to send him home because he got lucky tonight. Shoot, if it was any other sim, he would have got caught real quick. So I'm going to end this. Yep, there we go. Great time out. That is wonderful. She's still calling him her best friend. She enjoyed her time out. That's wonderful. And I'm still shocked he didn't get caught. Okay, Mr. Dylan. He's also kleptomanic. I don't know if that has to do with anything at night. Oh, I think he can steal stuff. Like, I think he can actually, like, steal cars and stuff. I think it's, like, a certain time at night. I think it's, like, around, like, 3 a.m., I don't know, but I want to try that. I'm making him seem like a bad person, but he's actually a genuine person. So Ava is sleeping. She doesn't know that he just walked in, but she will find out tomorrow morning and she's probably going to snap on him. So use this bathroom. He better get himself mentally prepared. Oh, Ava's back to her normal self. We're going to have him take a shower. His homework is done. So all he can do is just go to bed. It is now the morning. Today is Ava's birthday. Yay. And on her birthday, she's about to snap on her brother for not returning home yesterday after school what a shame y'all better not sit here and get stuck here you come over here and then argue ask him where he been at you think you're grown ever since you're a teen yeah she's talking about dishes okay i don't want to really mess up their relationship so i'm gonna leave that be she gonna use the bathroom and then take care of her daughter because her daughter is up now milani needs a bottle and some social Oh, he's upset. <laughs> Boy, you'll be fine. Oh, dang. He got to go to school. He didn't eat no breakfast. No, but today you're going to work hard. We need to get you to a B by today. And then you could do your opportunity. Actually, he can't do the opportunity today because when he gets out of school, we'll celebrate Ava's birthday. For her birthday, I'm not throwing her a birthday party only because we had one for Dylan. So I will just invite her dad, friends, and her boyfriend, of course. Oh, also, this boy, Leo, done aged up too. So this is perfect. Very good. Oh, I think she was going to bathe Rosie. Rosie, does she still need a bath? Oh, no, she's good. All right, honey, you can eat, and then I need you to find some gems. We, we're we really on the broke side. I mean, seriously, we was almost to 10,000. I swear we did have 10,000 <laughs> simoleons, but that has changed. No, I told you to feed your daughter, too. What in the... Come on. Let's go. Feed her on the floor and give her some attention. Let's... What can we do? Tickle her and toss her in the air. There we go. Oh, she's angry, too. They're both upset. They'll be over it. They'll be good. They're still in a good relationship, right? Let's see. Yeah. I don't know if they were best friends, but they're still cool. Why are you feeding the baby outside? I will never understand these weird behind kids. Oh, she's so cute, though. In her little outerwear. But no, take her inside. Come on, let's come in here. Put Milani down here. And let me have you take the day off of work. All right, Ava now has the day off of work. Oh, look at her just giggling. I thought we fed you. Oh, we got to do it again. Hold on. Hold on. Feed her on the floor. And then today, I think I'm going to actually teach her how to talk. So we can get that out of the way. When does she age up? Four days? Everybody is growing up so freaking fast. I cannot believe it. Fill the bowl. Let's feed these fish, too. Let's give Rosie some attention. Let's um feed her a treat and a smoochie. Oh, come on. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. And then... Does she know how to talk, too? Dang. I didn't know. Okay, Ava. Teaching your daughter right. I didn't even know. All right, let's empty that toilet. And then Milani is free to do whatever she wants. I need her to step out that bathroom so her mother can. Oh, she already has it. Okay, great. Let's empty that. Check this mail. Great, there's nothing in there. Do we have any laundry to do? Give us something to do. All right, we got some laundry. Okay, Dylan is coming home with Jake. 
Sure, you can go on a field trip. Wait, I thought I took... Hold on. All right, yeah, she does have a day off. They are talking about something. You have to go to work. No, we don't. Not on my birthday. Okay, let's see what his... Ooh. Ooh, he still has a C. And he's a little stressed. All right, so when you come home, you can watch a little bit of TV to de-stress yourself or whatever. Oh, he wants to sign up for an after-school activity. Hold on. I think that's a good idea. Hold on, let's do it. I don't know what I can see. He's about to get pranked. I don't know what I can see him doing after school, but we're just going to pick one since he wants to do one. We got music, art, newspaper, study, debate, drama, shop, and sports. Hmm. This is going to be hard. I don't see him doing any sports. He's not athletic. Maybe he'll be good in newspaper club. I never did that one before. Oh, snap. He went right to his homework. Okay, you can stop that for a minute and sign up for this after school activity. And then Ava, stop painting. Invite over your boyfriend that you barely talk to. I'm surprised they're still together. Invite over your, oh, oh Lord. Invite over your best friend and your dad. Oh, you're too busy to talk. Oh, he must be working. Ah, uh, so now we're all young adults and we can't hang out. This is depressing. Okay, looks like Scott is still a teen. Maybe he'll come. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, Scott wants to come over. Isn't that crazy? Yo, Scott has been hitting on Ava a lot lately. Sending her love letters and all. Man, I feel like he's going to make a move on her or something. So let's just. This is going to be really depressing. Her best friend's not showing. Her dad's not showing up. Her boyfriend. We'll just wait for Scott to get here. He's going to try to make a move on her. All right, come get this load of laundry until we wait. Hopefully he doesn't stand us up. I feel like he will. Oh, he wasn't playing no games. He's here. All right, let's greet him. Oh, shoot. Joyce wants to talk to Dylan. Oh, snap. He better talk to her in private before Ava finds out. All right, he's here. Let's talk to him a little bit. It's been a minute since they actually talked. Let's ask about his day. And I don't know what the heck he worm, but. And what else can we do here? Let's give him a friendly hug. He said, how are you? We're good. Thanks for asking. Mm, look at him. Thinking about love. All right, let's just blow these candles out. Come on, let's go. Oh, this is so sad, but I'm so happy at the same time. We watched Ava grow up. All right, Dylan, come over here and let's let's celebrate. <laughs> now y'all getting stuck again. Rosie really be in the way. But come on, let's go. It's Ava's birthday. She is now an adult. Let me get a picture. She's no longer a teen. I feel like a proud mother. She literally did rags to riches. Wait, she has developed a natural cook? And she grew up pretty bad because she didn't attend school. But that's all right. Aww. Yo, now I got to think of a lifetime wish for her. I don't know what I can see her doing yet. I said a few parts ago, or maybe the last part, that I can see her being like a stay-at-home mom doing some painting on the side. But if she likes cooking... Then maybe she can follow her dad's lead and do cooking. But then yet, this sounds dope right here. I also did mention that she would be a good fit in becoming a psychiatrist. But now I'm leaning more towards the RC type of lifetime wishes and job. So forget the culinary. I think that she would be good in the Master of Arts. And I'll think about her career later on. I really have to sit down and think about this. She's going to be successful anyways. She's an independent woman. All right, everybody grab a slice of cake. She wants to buy a motorcycle. Oh, okay. She wants to travel. She deserves to travel. These are all some good ones. Mm, she wants to get married. Uh, let me just, man, I don't even know. Yo, she looks the exact same or am I tripping? She didn't age up not one bit. Are you sure you're a young adult? Okay. I mean, everybody's chilling. I'm going to give her a little makeover in a few minutes. Or I might just do it um, when she wakes up tomorrow morning. 
All right, they're chatting up a little bit. Here, Dylan, when you're done eating, can you please... Yeah, do that dish. And you need to finish your homework. 1%? That's all you did? All right. Here, Ava, talk to your friend. See how he's doing. Is he a young adult yet? I'm not even sure. Let's ask his age. Let's see. He's her height. I think he might might have aged up as well. We're going to find out in a few seconds. All right, so he's five days older than us. So, yes, he's a young adult now. Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's talk to him. And six hours been passed, I think. So, let me see if Leo wants to come over now. Like, dude, it's my birthday. You're supposed to celebrate with me. Y'all are getting stuck in this house like crazy. All right, good. They're talking. And then, um, Dylan, can you do me a favor when you're done? Can you put your niece to bed? And then you need to take a shower, use the bathroom, and then you can go to sleep. There we go. All right, enough chitter chatter. Let's see if this dude want to come over. Period. Can I get a woohoo? It's my birthday. <laughs> Wait, what? He's getting on my nerves. He is getting on my nerves. Can we text him? Argue with this dude. It's my birthday. Hello? Oh. There's a breakup text and an insulting text. Um, I'm going to just back off. I'm going to try one more time. This is unacceptable. Girl, what outfit you got on? Oh, I forgot. I got to give a makeover. All right. Yo, he's really serious about not coming over. All right, that's fine. Uh-uh, Jake need to leave. Um, ask to leave. We could disband the group now. Y'all can leave. All right, he had a good time. Thanks for coming out, Scott. Unlike some people. Goodness gracious. She wants to go to university. Oh, no, she wants to get educated since she didn't have the experience in high school. But girl, you have a whole baby and your brother to take care of. All right, good. You're going to bed. Did you put her in the crib for me? <gasps> Wonderful. I'm going to just drag the rest of this stuff up. She's she's sleeping, so. Rosie? You stay sleeping outside. Um, No, you need to come inside and... Let me drag her for letter. You need to eat and then sleep in your bed. So you don't sleep outside in the cold. Are y'all going to leave? We got laundry all over the... Let me just delete that. Uh, I mean, guess y'all can stay. All right. We will see them in the morning. It is the morning once again. Ava is graduating today. It is mandatory, so she's going to pick up her diploma. I gave Ava a little makeover, and honestly, she didn't even need one because she looks the same. I just gave her short curly hair with new color highlights, and she's looking really good. I mean, like, let's get a look here. I think she's taking her daughter with her to graduate, and that is too cute. Look at her. Looking real nice. But anyway, she's going to go. Along with Milani. All right. Oh, goodness. I hate when that happens. I guess we'll just catch her at the city hall. I think she's going to the city hall. I don't think they go to the school. Yeah, they come here. All right. Here they are. Oh, no, Milani. She's hungry. Well, I guess she's going to have to cry. All right, Miss Thing. Graduating with your baby. Yes. All right, I don't know how long this is going to take, but we'll just wait it through. Oh, the little graduation music. Let me drag up Milani. Oh, 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 whoa. Oh. Goodness gracious. Hey, let me drag her up so she doesn't cry in the middle of the graduation. We need peace and quiet. All right, she's almost out. All right, here she comes. Did she put her little outfit on? Aww! They voted her to be most artistic! The future is bright for this young graduate. Oh, she got her diploma in her. Oh! Okay, she got her diploma. Don't know how she got her diploma, but she did it. Period. <laughs> we're gonna hang that up. It won't let me follow her, so I'll see her when she gets home. Um, where can I put it? Should I put it in her room? No, I'll put it in the living room. Um. Hmm, I think I got no wall space. It's pretty cool, though, that they still allowed her to graduate, although she was a whole college, I mean, I said college, a high school dropout. We can put it there for now, maybe in the middle. There we go. 
So, oh, Scott wants to talk. Girl, you need to take yourself home. You can talk to him when you're home. I am going to end this part right here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all in the next part. Bye, everyone.